A good retriever is man's best friend in the rice fields of the Grand Prairie. The ducks and the duck hunters converge on this landscape of fields and flooded timber every winter to put to use a set of skills. Over. A language of calls and signals that define the bond between dog Liza. and handler. Welcome to Max Prairie Wings here in Stuttgart, Arkansas, the duck hunting capital of the world. I'm Tommy Sanders, and what we have for you today is hunting competition among some of the most accomplished hunters in the world. The super retrievers are here, along with their handlers, to take on one of the toughest hunt courses ever devised. It's in very, very tough conditions. The reward for the top two finishers when it's all over here in Stuttgart, a trip to compete in the ESPN Great Outdoor Games this summer in Lake Placid, New York. We got that today, plus an added treat, an all-comers big air competition among the dogs, so stick around. This should be great to set up the course and get this thing started. Here's Sarah Sanford and Justin Tech. Thanks, Tommy. Over here at the Retriever venue, we are looking at a tough course today and a big field of dogs, 18 dogs total, two of whom will qualify to go on to the Great Outdoor Games. Justin, you've had a chance to look at some of these dogs over the past week. Who were the ones to beat? Sarah, it's going to come down to a good old-fashioned Arkansas-Texas rivalry. We've got Jeff Henner from Texas and his dog, Millie. They were at last year's Great Outdoor Games, came up a little short, but they put a lot of hard work in. I think they're ready. They're up against Arkansas's best dog right now, Bill Rath and his Grand Hunting Retriever Champion Ish. It's gonna come down to those two, I'm, I'm just sure of it. Well, it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch, but let me tell you, any handler out here will say it's anybody's guess. We have a serious wind out here and a really challenging course. Let's get started. Sir, we're going to take a look at our first flight. Three of the best dogs are going to move on. This is Mark Miles, his dog Woody. Here. Set him up for this cold blind. It's going to be really tough with that serious crosswind going. He's got 115 yards to go. Back. We're looking at Mark Miles from Searcy, Arkansas, and his dog Woody, who is only 18 months old. You know, I know it's tough to believe he's 18 months old. Man, he runs hard. Golly. And he handles well. Now, for each one of these whistles, he's docked two points. We have major and minor penalties. Major are five points, minor are two points. And each one of those whistles is a two point penalty. Nice angle back. Now, blind means that the dog does not know where the mark is. Now, in that case, you can see he got to it, he saw it, but he responded to the whistle. Sarah, that shows a tremendous amount of control for an 18 month old dog. Sarah, let's take a quick look at our core prescription. He just picked up the first of two blinds at about 115 yards. His first mark's coming out from the left at about 85 yards, but it's almost right in line with the blind. He's got a big swing to the right for his second bird at about 125 yards. Then the most difficult thing he's got to do is pull that dog back to the left to pick up that 240 yard go bird. Then he's got to line up and run that real nasty blind in and out of that levee at about 150 yards. Hell. There's his left bird right there, about 85 yards. Here. He's got a 60 degree swing to his right. That was about 125. Now he's going to come back to the middle, which is really different. But it looks like he's marked everything off the gun. Woody! Now, did you see how loudly he yelled Woody's name to send him for the line? That meant that's a long, long mark, and clearly Woody seems to have marked it. Because he is drilling out there. Yeah, he's driving him back, sir. He's driving him through this land water, land stuff that they've got going. And it's, it's just exactly what you find in any Arkansas rice field. He's going to run the mark a little bit. Tough wind. Golly, it's tough out there. And that may be why Woody just refused that whistle. We're looking at winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour today. And that's Woo. tough for a dog to hear through. You know, I know he's got to feel good about that. Here. Here. Heel. Mark. 18 Easy. months old. He's playing with big boys with a shot at the great outdoor games. Uh, you know, this is the second test this dog's ever run. You can see right there at the line, Woody has indicated he knows where to go next. And that's a great memory in a dog. Mark's told me he's an excellent marker. We'll just kind of see if his handle will hold up. Woody! Now you can see he didn't yell Woody as loud. It's not as far of a mark. And Woody does hold that line. You see, that's a straight line, straight from where Mark was, straight out to the bird. Stepped on it. Nice Dead job. Bird. Dead. Sit. 
Sir, I don't know if you've had the opportunity to walk through the line. No, As you line up on this Sit. last blind, that levee weaves Sit. in and Sit. out of line, the line Back. of the blind probably four or five times. I mean, to get an 18-month-old dog to do this, it's going to be tough. And you can see Mark is being really careful. He's going to handle him as often as he needs to. That orange mark out there is exactly where he's trying to send him. This refusal is going to be out of the area there. Bad line. I know the judge is going to take the win into consideration, but that's a tough situation. And it's a really frustrating thing for a handler to have to handle into the wind like this, and Mark's done a great job. Man, I thought he had it on that back cast. Stumptown's Woodrow surprise. Now this is the moment that a handler always looks forward to. He's got to feel really good about this. He's made it out of here with a great score. I think he's got a shot at moving on. More retrievers coming up, plus we'll get the big air competition underway here at Max Prairie Wings in Stuttgart, Arkansas on the Super Retriever Series. Heel. Sit. I'm Scott Greer. I'm from Dyersburg, Tennessee. This is Hunter Trevor Champion, Coffee's Little Dabble Do Ya. She's two and a half. She's a hunt test dog, and she's not She's not used to seeing 250-yard marks, and we just don't train for that. We, we train for hunting situation type tests. And, uh, so this is a big challenge for her. She's not really used to going that distance. Well, we'll see if Liza can go the distance today. She's setting up for the blind now. Setting this serious West Here. Tennessee duck dog up. Sit. And this wind is really going to give her a fit. You can see yeah. it's coming off from the right, pretty well straight into their faces, but movement from the right. But what that tends to do is push them off to the left. They tend to fall off with the wind. So you're right. They've got a ton of, of suction on this course. They've got that point right there that's really pulling them in there, and then they've got the wind pushing them. Just a lot of suction. And you can see she really wants to head for that point, and he's keeping her off of it. Nice job. Ah. Right angle back. Right into the teeth of that wind. That's a very, very difficult cast to make, and the dog took it. Uh-oh, we got a little pop there. Now, popping ah. is a five-point penalty, and that means when the dog ah. just stops and looks back and waits for direction, as opposed to keeping on going. Yeah, sometimes when they get a little confused in a real high-pressure situation, they don't want to make a state mistake, so they'll sit down real quick just kind of get a little direction, ah. but it shows a lack of confidence. All right, she's going to make it happen. There you go, Liza. You know, she runs hard. For a female, she really runs hard. Here we go. The next three marks. Big swing. Watch how her head pivots around with that gun. She's marking right off the gun. Boy, she is steady as a rock. Liza! She never moves. She's going for that long mark now. And again, straight into the wind. Go, and girl, go. Talk about running with confidence, huh? Holy. And she's got a little jumping thing going here, and she seems to be our little hopper so far. Liza! Now, this is the short mark. Offline. Oh! He's had to burn a whistle there. I know he doesn't feel too good about that. With a flight like this, with these kind of competitors, you can't afford to give it up on an 80 yard Liza. mark like that. Now, this should be one she should line. She should head straight for it. But she is really moving fast. You see her head looking around a little bit. She's not exactly sure where she's going. And she's blowing right on past that mark, straight on through that yellow levee gate. Oh, there's a whistle refusal. She's too far out. That wind is just too loud. At 31 points now, 36 points because of that the whistle refusal. He's calling her in now with that staccato whistle. And he's fallen far behind Mark Miles now. Now gearing up for the blind. Mark! She's oh. offline right out of the gate. Angle back, back across the levee. He's got to keep tight range here. 
Ah. What he's going to try to do is keep her in line as much as he can between himself and that line where that stake is. And he knows where she needs to go. 42 points now accumulated. Special whistle, two whistle refusals. Finally got her stop. Angle back. Nice calf. She's seen it and she's hopping to the blind. Practicing for big air, maybe. <laughs> Oh yeah, looking good. Practice is underway. We promised you this a little bit earlier. The Big Air Dog Competition. If you've never seen this before, you definitely need to check it out. Sort of the canine equivalent of the long jump in track and feel. Very explosive at the board and kind of a wet landing. Qualifying round of Big Air. Only the top six dogs now will advance to the final round of competition. It is an open event, so many of these dogs are newcomers. They've never been on a jumping dock before and have quite overcome their fear of heights. Now, the dogs that are comfortable with the dock are trying to reach the greatest distance with each jump. But if they leave the dock too early, the is sometimes feet in their measured distance. The official distance is measured from the end of the dock point on the water's surface where the base of the dog's tail enters the water. The dog measures the longest jump in the final round will win a spot to compete in the Big Air event at the 2002 Great Outdoor Games. It all comes down to which dog is ready to go the distance. Later we'll see today's top jumps that make the first cut. Stick around, we got more of a trigger action coming up after the break. Uh, my name is Derek Randall. Uh, this is Stella. Her paper name is uh, Tennessee Hunter's Midnight Star. I mentioned the honesty, how she uh, does everything in her power to please me. She tries to stay true to the things that uh, we train together for. And, um, and that honesty a lot of times shows up in, in the testing and, and also in future training. So Derek obviously knows his dog very well. She stayed really honest, ran right by the point, didn't give in to the suction of the wind at all, lined the blind. We got a perfect score zero going into the mark. We might have an upset here. Stella! Stella's a young dog. She's three years old. A course like this is a lot of pressure for such a young dog. Stella ran an extremely clean blind, Sarah. If she can just pick up these marks somewhat clean and run a half-decent last blind, she's going to be in the middle of this thing. Now heading out for that short second mark that's actually given some other dogs some trouble. Headed straight into the wind. You know, with that wind, Sarah, they've got to handle quite a bit on this thing, so maybe she'll step on this thing. She's coming into this thing with zero points. She has run away with it. She's drifting to the left. He's got to get a handle on her quickly. Get, she's getting close to that blind. Oh, no. What a huge disappointment. She's picked up the blind. She's been disqualified. She had to pick up that mark first. Coming up next, Jeff Hendrick. Now, Justin, this is your man in the Texas-Arkansas rivalry. This is my man from Austin, Texas. Not the most Texas guy. I remember, I'm an Arkansas boy. But I love Millie. She runs hard. She's very intelligent. They've worked really hard. They had a little trouble at the end of this first test at last year's Great Outdoor Games. I think they're going to get there. Let's just see what happens. He, he seemed primed and ready. Millie's a good handling dog. She's five years Bye. old. She's our only chocolate lab in this competition. Taking a nice line out towards that blind. Hang in there, Millie. Hang in there. All right. Go on. Got a stiff, stiff crosswind. She's going pretty hard. Oh, nice job. Nice job handling. Sit. Here. Sit. Millie. Driver, Jeff, driver. Millie marks really well off the gun. You can see how she pivoted around with the gun. Every time he turned, she moved right there with him. There's that little dip that the judges have thrown in this course. Just 
I think it throws the dog for a loop when you hit that swimming water right there. Come on, Jeff. Get on there. This is right about where the wind just kills them. They can't hear out here. You can see she's all around it, but she's not there. That's a good recovery on Millie's part. You can see she winded it, and she jumped right on it. He's got to be feeling good right now. <laughs> Actually, looks like he feels pretty relieved. Millie. All right, he said we're out there for the short. Shouldn't be a problem. This is a good confidence builder, and in this wind, these dogs need to be built up a little bit. Well, now we've got the mark to the right. We don't have to run that nasty blind. When you get by these two things, you're a good chance. You're okay right now. Keep in mind, this mark is 125 yards out there. With this wind, it's harder and harder for her to hear it. Yeah, you take into account that running water in this 40 mile an hour gust, it's just almost impossible outside 80, 90 yards, probably even for a really young dog. And she's racking up the whistle refusals right now. Are you giving up on my dog already? <laughs> I don't want to, Justin. I tell you, this is a lot of pressure. And she's holding out well she's at 33 hanging in there. points. Bah! Here we go on the big blind. Now, he's got to get her on line before she gets past 80, 90 yards. So I'm hoping he'll, he'll handle her quickly and uh, hope for the best. Because I think once they get past 100, 110, you forget about him. That's where the teamwork really gets to be tough. When she gets far out there, she can't hear him. And that's what's happening right now. Obviously, she's not hearing him. Come on, Jeff, you've got to get a handle on her. <laughs> He's changed the tone of his whistle. He's trying everything. He's hoping she can hear this different tone, but it is out of control at this point. Racked up points all the way to 81, now 86 points. Finishing up with 86 points. She's still in the running to make it to the finals, but I tell you, that was a tough run. Now let's go over to Tommy and the Big Air Dogs. Thanks, Sarah. We are looking for our top six teams today in the Big Air competition. One of the favorites has to be the team of Danny Cruz and Tank. I'm Danny Cruz from uh, North Little Rock, Arkansas, and this is Tank. We entered the Sporting Dog Challenge in Little Rock last year and took second place, and they invited us to go to the Great Outdoor Games. It was great. A lot of good competitors. Uh, they set a new world record while we were there. We took fourth, and then we came back this year to try to qualify to go back again. Well, that's the thing about Tank and Danny Cruz. They don't get an automatic invite back into the great outdoor games. They have to qualify today, just like all these other teams. Tank, the yellow Labrador Retriever, is a big one. That's something he fights. A lot of people see it as an advantage, but Danny will say it's possibly a disadvantage. 16 feet 5 inches is a good That's going to measure out at 16 feet and 8 inches of good effort to tank. Closer takeoff there and some good speed. Take a look at the height on the jump. That is important as well. Tank, the dog to beat so far again, 16 feet 8 inches. Our next team, Wally and Wally. Hold it, Wally. Black Labrador Retriever. This pair is from Clinton, Mississippi. Wally's first jump measured at 14 feet 1 inch. Oh, great spring, a great vertical leap there, but close to the momentum right there at the takeoff, almost coming to a stop. Man, what height. If they were measuring this vertically, Wally would be in like Flynn. 14 feet, 1 inch. Now Rebel and Chris Stoddard. Rebel, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, this pair from Lanark, Ontario. Chris spends a lot of time in the wintertime in this part of the country, guiding duck hunting trips, training dogs, and so forth. Their first jump, 15-1. And a good one there. That's an improvement. A qualifying jump of 15 feet 9 inches. The bubble at 13.7. So this pair is looking excellent for the finals. Into that wind, an extra powerful jump for Rebel. So far, it's been all Chesapeake's and Labrador Retrievers. Pretty good-sized dogs. First look now at one of the smaller competitors. This is Casey, the English Springer Spaniel from Springfield, Missouri. The handler is Tim Baker. Their first jump measured out at 10 feet, 6 inches. Looking to improve here. And a much better jump, 13 feet, 7 inches for Casey. A lot of explosion using the very end of the dock there right above the bubble, and this crew is going to qualify for the finals. And we will have that competition for you next time on the Super Retriever Series. Stand by, a lot more Retriever action on the way. I'm uh, Bill Rath, and I'm from Scott, Arkansas. My dog's name is Shades Old River Rat. He'll be five years old next month. His call name is Ish, and he's a male. 
I've got a good dog, and uh, if we're on, we'll be hard to beat. If he does his marks, I'll get him to the blind and we'll win. But he's got to do the marks. That's what God gave him his eyes for. He's pulled me out of so many scrapes on the marks. He's a better marker than I am. Here. Well, here's my half of the Texas Arkansas Here. rivalry, Bill Rath from Scott, Here. Arkansas. Here. Well, your half of the Arkansas Texas rivalry Here. has just received Here. a two point Here. unsteady at the line penalty. He's a little unsteady, but he's enthusiastic. And he's a strong marker. Bill's made that clear. But in this case, we're headed for a blind. You know, he's an extremely big running dog. I mean, he's got the heart of a lion, and he's going to run really hard regardless of the condition. So it's going to be a situation where we're going to test uh, issues control today with these wins. The issue's five years old, so he's got a little experience under his belt. And he certainly made this blind look easy. I may be in trouble here. Nice swing. About a 60 degree swing there. Mark here. That's a 240 yard bird. He's got to drive him. He's got about a land water land and then the swimming water. It just kind of throws him for a loop when they hit it. Boom, there it is. Still only four points into this, so he is looking good. Sir, he picked that thing up like he threw it out there himself. Yes! But here comes this mark that's given all the dogs some trouble. 125 yards, but it's right into the wind with that running water. It's tough to hear the whistle, so you've got to be a big old mark. Whistle refusal right there. You see it just blowing him off right now, it appears. You know, for some reason, every dog has faded to the right. That corner is in a ton of suction today. I don't know why, but for some reason the dogs were just kind of being pulled that way. In that case, that was a whistle refusal, but Ish knew what he was going for, and he wasn't going to stop. Ish! Total of 20 points into this, so they're looking good. Five-time Green Hunter Dead Retriever bird. champion lined up for the blind now. Dead. Bye. Now you notice he sent him from the line saying back instead of ish. And that indicates to ish he's going for a blind. He's going for a bird that he doesn't know where it is out there. Sir, Bill's a really unique handler. He uses no angle backs. Primarily just overs and lefts and right backs. So uh, back! for him to have the success that he's had so far, I'd, say, I'd tell him to stay with it. It's beautiful to watch a dog and a handler work the way they do. This is a nice, nice dog. Back! Well, trying to keep it kind of skirting that bank, but the judges are looking for a straight line there. He's got to bust through that firm right there and carry his line. Nice job. Sir, it looks like your Arkansas boy put it on my Texas. Bill Rath and Ish tying Mark Miles and Woody. They plus Liza will advance to the finals of the Super Retriever Series. We'll have another flight of dogs trying to qualify for those finals next time on our show. We'll also begin the finals of the Big Air Dog Competition from Stuttgart here on our next Super Retriever Series.